I'm Charlotte. And I'm Jeff. And we're the Movie Psychics. We'll predict the plot of any movie. Never see a bad movie. Call today or visit MoviePsychics.com. Phone us now. Find your phone. Find your phone. Why won't you call us? Hello? You've reached the Movie Psychics. What's your movie emergency? Yeah, hi. I, uh, well, I just saw your commercial. Are you guys for real? Yeah? As, as real as the the misty plains of the, the moon-bathed astral zone. Oh. Well, okay. Well, I have this old VHS of Radical Jack. Have you heard of it? No. Nope. Okay, but can you tell me if it's worth watching? That's our cosmic gift. Yeah, we see things in our mind's eye or whatever. Hold, uh, hold on a minute. I got, I gotta go find the darn tape. Are you even trying to act like it? It said mine's eye. Uh, hello, I'm, I'm still on the line. It t- tell us about the cover. Huh. Well, it looks like it stars Billy Ray Cyrus. He's riding a motorcycle. There's a woman seated kind of behind him. Looks like they're riding away from an explosion. Well, is it worth watching? A vision's beginning to come to me. Do you have any more details? Uh, That's pretty much it. Oh, Billy Ray Cyrus does have a mullet. Does that help? A mullet? I I see it clearly now. A a vision of a luscious mullet locks, like, whipping around in the wind. Um, the wind is whipping the hair around. Kate, that's the name of uh, Radical Jack's girlfriend, is riding on the back of his motorcycle, and his hair is just hitting her in the face, like... Just smacking her and... That's why you always wear a helmet. Safety first. Exactly. They're riding back from a demolition site. That's where they went on their first date. That's a pretty radical date. It's probably where he got his name. Exactly. I'm getting a vision. She, She's holding a pair of scissors and she's chopping the mullet oh. off. She's cutting his mullet. He's completely unaware. <laughs> There's just a rat tail left. But she's taking the hair and she's stuffing it into little baggies, like little plastic baggies. For good luck. Yeah, because like caressing the mullet hair is like rubbing the belly of the Buddha. It's the country good luck. Everyone knows that. That's why she's going to sell it on eBay. (sighs) Very deceitful. I, I think this is the inciting incident of the movie. She only dates guys with mullets because that's her business model. So at some point, Radical Jack's going to notice his mullet's gone, right? By that time, she already has it listed on eBay. Radical Jack knew about it the whole time. He knew that she was the snip-snip bandit. He had heard about her from his mullet crew. So it's like a sting operation. An elaborate sting. His goal is to hunt down every buyer who supports this illicit activity and bring them to justice. I like it. It's like a revenge film. So he tracks down Kate because she won't return his calls and he busts down the door. He demands the eBay password. What's the eBay password, Kate? I I know you're the snip snip bandit. Give me the password. The password, it's, the password is locks of love. Locks of love? Yeah, locks of love. Um, Radical Jack doesn't quite understand it until he gets the address and busts down the door and finds that it's actually locks of love. Oh, so now he's just a jerk. Busting down the doors of nonprofits. I mean, he apologizes and then he gets on his motorcycle and rides off into the sunset. Uh, he, he's probably went on a vision quest or something. Like, he's super embarrassed about the whole thing. And now Kate's free to continue her illicit activity because this was all a setup. Yeah. Lots of love doesn't buy mullet hair on eBay. People who need country luck on the download do. Radical Jack was a total moron. Totally fell for it. Well, I mean, I do love a story with a twist ending. I think this is kind of a good one. I think so too. Like, I'd recommend it. i recommend it as well. Hello? Yeah, I kind of zoned out there. We think you should watch it. W- watch it? Okay, got it. No, thank you for phoning the movie psychics. Um, your credit card will be charged f- 54 49 For Wait, for what? I was only on the line. So do you think we were right? 
So do you think it matters? I'm kind of curious. Well, it, we probably have the movie in that big box of VHS over there. Oh yeah, the one we found in the alleyway. Yeah, I think I see it there on the top. Let's give it a watch. See how right we were. Okay. Five years ago, CIA agent Jack Reynolds' family was slaughtered after he tried to bust illegal arms dealers. Now he's got his chance to get even. In a corrupt small town controlled by a sadistic gun runner, he's going undercover, taking on the locals, and waiting for the opportunity for revenge. I cut his little tiny nuts off. So we just watched Radical Jack and we might have been a little off on our prediction. I mean, we were right. The movie was wrong. The movie was wrong. The movie was very wrong. This film, his mullet does not get cut off. It remains intact throughout the whole film, so. Which is surprising, because he does get beat up a lot. <laughs> yeah. And which, actually, he does, he does his fair share of punching, uh, missing, a couple of those punches, but um, missing a couple of those stage punches, I okay. should say. Are you talking say. about the camera work? Uh, yeah, that? I'm talking about that scene where he goes to punch somebody and the camera work is so bad that you can see it's a fake punch. The CIA hunts Radical Jack down because he's kind of off the grid. Yeah, he's retired. He's like too old for this shit. He's, he's too old for this shit without actually saying I'm too old for this shit. But why did why? Like, couldn't they just get anyone else to? Yeah. They got him because he knew what the arms dealers look like. Is that why though? Because Yeah, they like, said, you know, Ronaldo or whatever. Like, you know who, what he looks like. So we need you to oh, I guess go I, to this operation. I guess I like blocked that part of the plot hole out. Like, I just knew that they that needed like, him they need, for the, reasons. The, well, that was the reason. It was just he knew what the guy looked like. Yeah. And so. Did what? No, they had files on him, didn't they? Yeah. So, I mean, it, it falls apart because they know what the guy <laughs> looks like. Did they get the best guy for the job? Like considering the how inept the criminals were? Like Yeah, the, well Radical Jeff was like equally inept, and so it kinda like Didn't in the beginning out. we see him in action and he's not a super spy at all. The first time we see him doing spy stuff, some kids sneak up on him. And yeah, what did like, you think of his surveillance technique? His surveillance technique was, I guess, to put it politely, like hide in plain sight because he just didn't take any effort to hide himself at all, ever. <laughs> just. This new guy, Jack. Yes, sir. I need to know who he is. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess maybe the guy was just seeing in a shallow depth of field and he didn't rack focus like we did, the, the viewers. That was a really cool shot. <laughs> <laughs> they, had to, they didn't care. They had to get that shot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What did you think of uh, Radical Jack kind of being a different sort of action hero where he does give his foe a chance to talk it out? You mean the lazy kind of action hero? You know, I think they... he just didn't want to fight, I think is what it is. If you look, <laughs> if you look at him through the entire movie, he, he limps around a lot. Like right from the, right the get-go, he's limping. When, when we see him walk, the first time he walks. No, he puts it, it's not a Steven Seagal, a, li, a older Steven Seagal situation. No, he's yeah, he, he's standing putting in at the least. Effort. <laughs> he's standing at least. But there's like the scene where he's like drying glasses or like tending the bar. And he's just doing it in the like most bored, lazy way possible. Like, mm-hmm, yep, that's me. I'm, I'm just, I'm so radical. I'm Radical Jack. So in your mind, he should be uh, drying glasses to the extreme? Yeah. I he mean, should be skateboarding around and grabbing the glass and like drying it and like, to... woo, and then throwing it. <laughs> exactly, and it yeah. Somehow landing on the shelf. He like... needs to, to go to the Tom Cruise school of action <laughs> where it's just everything is the most intense thing ever. I thought you meant like cocktail where he's just <laughs> yeah. like <laughs> throwing <laughs> bottles in that too. and like catching it, like drying it and just like, whoa. That oh. too. He Maybe he can get like a, a, some tips from cocktail too. It just, <laughs> he, he was a boring action hero. So compared 
to the movie we came up with. What do you think of this one? Oh, that's that's a tough one actually, because this one there are a lot of really great scenes that I really loved. I mean, there's the scene where he's building a shed and he keeps having flashbacks to his wife and that kid blowing up. And and then the the owner of the bar is just like watching him, just like drinking a beer and watching him and as he's like a scene where slow he... motion shirt off. Like he has a bottle of water and he like pours it over his head <laughs> and then just rack focus to the old man like watching him watching him with a beer in his hand but it makes like, sense because he delivers the line like you were in the service <laughs> i can tell by the way that you work what makes you think i was in the service i watched you work for two days our movie did well, lacked a couple of the the elements that make this movie great and i think of those elements uh, there's three of them uh, that I think we lacked in our movie. I mean, we had them there, but we didn't lean into them as hard as they did in this. And those three elements are Billy, Ray, Cyrus. <laughs> he but sells they this movie. <laughs> they didn't cut off the mullet in that movie because they knew better. Like, <laughs> that would He wouldn't be Billy Ray Cyrus anymore. I don't know what... I think that's what we didn't take into account is just like... Billy Ray Cyrus doesn't exist if you cut his mullet off. He he ceases to exist. It's a little known fact, but Billy Ray Cyrus He just is becomes actually, Bill in accounting and take yeah. the mullet off. Billy Ray Cyrus is actually just a mullet. So, in conclusion, I would say that our reading was just as entertaining um, as Radical Jack. And so I think we definitely earned the fifty nine ninety five or whatever I charge that guy. And I think he should probably give us a good review. Hello? Yeah, how do we end our first episode? Okay. Is that the producer? We'll see you in the astral plane. <laughs>